we're roughly about 5,000 acres of preserved battlefield land here on the outskirts of the sprawling Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. Manassas National Battlefield Park is the site of two major Civil War battles. The first major battle of the American Civil War, first major land battle, 21 July 1861, and a second battle, 13 months and a week later, uh, 28, 29, and 30 August 1862, both Confederate victories combined roughly 4,500 to 5,000 men killed out here. We have a driving tour that covers both of these battles, various walking tours. This year's the 160th anniversary of the Battle of Second Manassas or Second Bull Run, so we've got a, a huge slate of activities for that. Plus we have over 40 miles of walking and equestrian trails in the park. Um, and then besides the story of the battles, we have um, African American history, Native American history, women's history. So we're not just battles out here at Manassas. If you want to really get a sense of the battlefield itself and dig into the history and get your exercise and recreation at the same time, you know, staying here for one, two, three days uh, will allow you to do those trails to really dig into the story of the battles and, and attend any of our uh, special walking tours that are offered throughout the year. Another popular activity is taking the driving tour to explore the battlefield differently to allow more of an accessibility for folks that aren't able to do the strenuous hikes. Um, and there's again 12 stops on the driving tour that go from significant location to significant location of largely the second battle that was fought here. Both of those give an opportunity to see the battlefield in, in different ways, be it on the trails, you know, on two feet as opposed to on four wheels. The visitor center has its own museum, uh, 45 minute movie, bookstore, restrooms, but also we've got nearby sites that are administered by Prince William County which also tie into the story of the park and the battles and also the city of Manassas has sites that relate to it. So going beyond just the 5,000 acres into Manassas, into the rest of Prince William County and, and fair, neighboring Fairfax counties will allow for a more holistic and complete visit uh, to understand not just the battles, but life here in Prince William County during the war and beyond.